The iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max are really good video shooting smartphones. If you're just shooting normal video, straight out of camera, no log, no ProRes, they're still probably the best video shooting smartphones on the market. But if you're shooting in ProRes log and you know how to do just a little bit of color grading, the image coming out of these phones are probably the best I've ever seen. And if you don't know how to color grade that well or at all, stick around to the end of this video because I got a free little gift for you guys. Everybody watching this video gets it. You're all eligible. Resume is a heavyweight, yeah. Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything, yeah. With every great camera comes great accessories to help you get the best results possible. And today, my friends, we're gonna be going over my top five video shooting accessories for the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. First up is this little USB-C thumb drive by a company called Move Speed. I picked it up on Amazon and it was really well priced. I'll leave links to everything in this video in the description below if you wanna check it out for yourself. It has USB-C 3.2 speeds and can easily handle the 4K60 ProRes log coming out of the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max. I picked up the 512 gig. I think you can go all the way up to a terabyte, but I have the 512 gig iPhone 15 Pro Max. And honestly, I'm just gonna be plugging it in, getting my shots, bringing it back home and transferring the files to the computer and then wiping it clean anyway. So 512 between the phone and this little thumb drive here, I think it's plenty enough storage for me. This is going for 69 bucks. And if you choose to buy it, depending on when you choose to buy, they have a little tick box there that gives you another $10 off. So I paid $59 for this. One of the things that I really like about it is the USB-C part of it. It's pretty long and I've tried it with a few different cases. One of them was a thick one, real thick one, real good and thick, girthy and it fit right in there, no problem. The case wasn't stopping it from going in. And yeah, just plug it right in and you're good to go. It also has a USB Gen 2 on the other end of it. So if you need that, you'll be good. And it comes with this nice little keychain holder, which is gonna make it really easy to keep with you at all times, which is kind of the main point. I got a little sick of shooting on my little external SSDs where I had to keep the wire and find some way to rig it up and then keep a cage on me. I'm like, what am I doing? This is not sustainable for the long term, but this, definitely is keep it on you at all times pop it in your iphone whenever you need to use it and then store it away put it back on your keys or your bag or wherever the hell you keep things i don't know next up is a whole system by Freewell for your smartphone, for your iPhone. It's called Sherpa, and it all starts with this case right here. This is the bread and butter of the whole Sherpa system. It's fantastic. Oh, my mic drooped. When did that happen? Cheap ass stand cheap ass oh now it's even higher my audio is going to be screwed up why does why do things happen to me why do these things happen to me tighten her up real good and nice and it's still going to droop on me so first up is this case this is where the bread and butter lies everything revolves around this case and this is a different case from last year this is made specifically for the 15 pro and pro max if you saw last year's you notice it had like this blue and black design to it this one is nice sleek it's all black it looks really nice this is a much nicer case for you well good job guys and in case you're wondering yes it does have magsafe and the MagSafe on this case is probably the strongest MagSafe that I've seen so far on any case. It's very strong. It's a very strong magnet and I never feel like I'm gonna lose my Apple wallet. And there's this little magnetic front around all the lenses of your phone and it lets you connect a bunch of cool stuff. Freewell makes a bunch of different filters that you can magnetize to the front of this. Right here, I have the VND, one to five stops, very, very nice. No vignetting, no X, very good quality. Also, we have my personal favorite, the mist filter, and this is really good for smartphones because number one, it's gonna bloom your highlights out a little bit, but it's also overall gonna give you a softer image and it's gonna take a little bit of that edge off of the digital sharpening that you get from pretty much all smartphones. Even though the ProRes log coming out of the 15 Pro and Pro Max looks really good and it's probably the least over sharpened smartphone video I've seen yet a nice mist filter is going to add to that effect to make it look even more like a professional camera and if you get a little noise in there the mist filter is going to smooth that out a little bit too all right here's what it looks like without the mist filter and then when we could just easily magnetize it right onto the front you can see it softens up the image a little bit blooms out your highlights a little bit take that off again we got a beat following me here off on off I like the way it looks on. It's a nice looking image, nice and soft. Takes that little bit of digital sharpening 
a little bit of the edge off. Now another big part of the Sherpa system is this phone grip right here and when you throw it on the case, number one, it gives you the type of grip that you would probably have on a full frame camera. Like this isn't going nowhere. You got a really nice grip size here. On top of that, we have a Bluetooth shutter. If you want to sync that up to your phone, makes it really easy to hit the shutter button and get your shot. Up top, we have a shoe mount. If you want to mount like a shotgun microphone or a light. Plus we have a few quarter twenties all around this thing on top and bottom. Now here is, in my opinion, the coolest part. You could be out getting your shot like this, but now let's say you want to turn your phone around and vlog this grip folds down and then extends and then bends this way and you got a nice little vlogging situation going here and it's a nice little extension like plenty plenty far enough to be able to vlog with that 24 millimeter main shooter on the back here really really nice i love this thing and like i said you could just throw your little shotgun microphone right up top if that's what you want to use for your audio and you're good to go and then when you're done push it in fold it back up get back to shooting your b-roll or whatever it is you do and i'm actually going to come back to this freewall sherpa system in a minute next up is a little car vent mount by peak design which is absolutely fantastic it has this little hook design where it goes behind your vent and then you tighten the knob and then it pulls into your vent and it locks in there and then there's another knob up front which allows you to rotate the mounting part so you can have it sit wherever you want you can make it sit straight up nice and high you could turn it off to the side a little bit you can get it nice and low if you want to now you might be saying buddy i thought we were talking about video accessories here what are you doing talking about a car vent mount but me i love shooting in my car i like having some kind of camera on my dashboard to get some shots of me while I'm driving. It's another angle, it's another perspective, it's another shot. That's why when I picked up the DJI Action 4, I took that little adhesive mount that comes in the package and I stuck it right on top of my dashboard and I was gonna use my Action 4 kind of like a dash cam. With the quality of the iPhone now and this Peak Design mount, I don't really see myself using the Action 4 in that scenario. I, I wish I would have waited on the Action 4, to be honest with you, because the iPhone comes with me everywhere I go, and it's a much better image than the Action 4 is. Is this Mike drooping again? You son of a bitch. I will tighten you till you love me. And now with the 15 Pro Max, I get ProRes log on my dash camera and I can angle it wherever I want. Like I said, I could have it sit up high, I could turn it off to the side a little bit, low, and I could shoot with the front facing camera which also shoots in ProRes log and it looks pretty good, which means while I'm filming, I have a nice big screen facing me while I'm shooting, which lets me frame up my shot perfect. All right, now let's talk about some audio. For this, I have actually two mics on my list and I'll explain why. The Rode Wireless Pro, which in my opinion is the GOAT wireless microphone system out right now. It's the best that's ever been made. And we got the DJI wireless microphones, which is in second place in my opinion. And both kind of have some advantages to use. So you really can't go wrong choosing one or the other, but again, let me explain. The reason why I'm going with two is the DJI mics have a nice little USB-C adapter that goes directly into the receiver that you could plug directly into the USB-C port of your iPhone. So you don't have to worry about mounting your receiver somewhere and then running a cable. It's just boom, right in the side of your iPhone. It's great. But if you're gonna use that USB-C port to plug in an external SSD or something like this USB-C thumb drive that I told you guys about earlier, now that USB-C port is obviously, it's all used up. Can't plug in a microphone no more. So now you're gonna either have to use the microphones on board of the iPhone, or if you want really good audio, you're gonna have to record audio externally and then sync it up afterwards, which for me is not a problem. Some people hate doing it, not really a big deal for me. And when it comes to recording audio externally, there ain't nothing better right now than the Rode Wireless Pro. You got 32-bit float on here, which means you don't ever have to worry about your audio levels. And when you're on the go and you're shooting with a smartphone, the last thing you wanna have to do is check your audio levels. I'll leave it up to you in that situation. They're both really great wireless microphone systems, but if it was me and I didn't own any wireless microphones, I was gonna go out to buy a set, it would definitely be the Rode Wireless Pros, 100%. Next up is not necessarily a physical accessory, but it's definitely something that you could use with your iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max, and it's absolutely free, and it's gonna to unlock the full potential of what these phones could do and that's the new black magic camera app and again it's absolutely free like there's no paid add-ons there's no pro subscriptions 
it, it, everybody gets the same copy of it and nobody pays any money for it. Now I'm not gonna go too deep into the Blackmagic app because I have a whole separate video coming on it. It requires a whole separate video, it's that good. But you can shoot ProRes Log with the Blackmagic app and you can actually shoot in a higher quality than you can in the native iPhone camera app, which is pretty crazy. The native app shoots ProRes 422 and on the Blackmagic app, you can go all the way up to ProRes 444, qua qua quadro. You got full control over your ISO, your shutter speed, your white balance, you have zebras, you have histograms, you have all these filmmaking tools. It's, it's a very, it's about as professional as you can get for a smartphone camera app. It's very, very good. Everybody should have it. Now, remember I said I was gonna come back to the Freewell Sherpa system. Well, this is the time talking about the Blackmagic app because you have full control over it. You can make sure that something like your ISO is at its absolute base where you're gonna have the least amount of noise and you can make sure you're at the proper shutter speed and the Blackmagic app has either shutter speed or shutter angle, which is pretty cool. And then you could throw on a VND and you can control your exposure using this while while not having to raise your ISO and introduce a ton of noise into your shot. Also for the Sherpa system, Freewall makes a whole anamorphic set where you could screw on ND filters on the front of it and using the Blackmagic app, it has, oh, shit, it has anamorphic de-squeeze options in there. Look at that, anamorphic shooting right on your iPhone and you got your de-squeeze options right in the camera app. And Freewell has, they have some more stuff coming out, which I actually already have. Can't really talk about it yet because they didn't release it yet, so I'm testing it out right now. But they have a bunch more stuff coming and they already have some more stuff available that I didn't show you guys here. Why does this happen, man? I'm putting the strength of Hulk into tightening this and it's still drooping on me. Also with the Blackmagic app, you can record externally to that thumb drive. So if you think about it, everything I showed you here today really goes well together. You start with the Freewell Sherpa system, you could throw on a nice variable ND filter, you could throw on the mist filter, which again is my personal favorite. Then you have the phone grip to get your B-roll shots. Then if you wanna vlog, you unfold that, extend it out, you get your vlogging shots. Then you have your Peak Design car vent mount to get some nice car shots. It all flows really really well together and, and I'm just, I'm loving this. I have never loved shooting with a smartphone so much in my life. All right, for those of you that stuck around to the end of this video, I have the same offer that I was extending in my last iPhone 15 Pro Max video, and that is a free LUT to transform your iPhone 15 Pro, ProRes, log footage over the Rec. 709 only. It's not just to transform, I threw a little cinematic twist on it, just to make it look nice and natural and more like a real camera and not so smartphone-y. Now this LUT is used for the native camera app and it's for ProRes log only. I haven't had a chance to grade any of the footage that I shot using the Blackmagic camera app yet. And I think even though it's Apple log, it has a little bit of a different flavor to it. So I'm gonna have to do a whole new grade on that. And then maybe, maybe in my Blackmagic app video, which should be coming up after this. Maybe I'll do the same thing and I'll give you guys a free LUT for that one too. But all you have to do is make sure you subscribe to this channel. Hit me up on Instagram, take a screenshot showing that you're subscribed. Go to my channel, go to my video, anywhere where it says subscribe, take a screenshot of that, send it over on Instagram and I'll send you guys a link to my LUT. That's it. And for bonus points while you're over there on Instagram, you wanna throw me a follow on there too. I'm getting pretty active on Instagram. We're getting it going. We're trying to get these numbers up. I'm at like 25,000 right now. I should be at like 25 billion right now. So we're trying to get to 30,000, hopefully by, I don't know, another month or so. Trying to get 5,000 subs in a month so you guys could help me make that happen. And I'll appreciate you highly for that. So if you want that LUT, hit me up, take a screenshot, send it over on Instagram at Anthony Lapani, and I'll hook you up with that free LUT. Again, I'll leave links down below for all this stuff that I showed you guys here today. And by the way, none of this video is sponsored by any of these companies. I just, they're really good. All right, I think I think we're good here. Babbled on enough, and my mic is about to droop right into my nose piece. Thank you guys for watching. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Salute.